I cannot make that kind of claim and I cannot uh, allege any coordination. Uh, lastly, I think we have to be very careful, and I want to be very sincere with you, good people. And on this particular one, media, this is where I ask you to be very, very responsible. In the history of this country, especially after the enactment of Constitution 2010, peaceful protest, picketing is protected by the Constitution. In fact, if you followed the law, notified the police that you want to hold a peaceful demonstration, chances are that the police will actually escort you as you make your protest. I've given you a classic example. How many times, and you know this, how many times have police officers escorted Kenyans to Uhuru Park along this same street outside the office of the president who are protesting or are picketing on one or the other issues? Workers who are on strike, nurses who, who peacefully demonstrate and move around. This is allowed by our constitution. And I can assure Kenyans, the police will be very respectful of the law, and we are very respectful of the law. We will not interfere with a peaceful protest, provided the law is followed. But please also understand this. People who break into shops are not peaceful protesters. People who burn buses are not peaceful protesters, by any stretch of imagination. People who break into people's uh, homes to, to loot and steal are not peaceful protesters. So, so you cannot say the police used live bullets on peaceful protesters. It is not true. Let me be very honest with you. It is not true. The police have not used live bullets on any peaceful protesters. Why on earth will you actually shoot at peaceful protesters? Why would you do it? If people have given a notice to the police and said, on Friday afternoon, we are going to hold a peaceful demonstration between point A and point B, and we will keep law and order. Why would you do it? So it's not true. And, and please draw a distinction between what, you are the, what we all know as peaceful protesters who are working and doing everything they are doing strictly according to the law, on the one hand, and opportunistic criminals, looters, and people who are breaking the law. And in that respect, in both cases, you need to understand that the police will respond differently. And at the, at the moment, I can tell you, the police have not shot at any peaceful protester anywhere in this country. Thank you. Naam, bila shaka huyo ni waziri wa usalama, kaimu waziri wa usalama, daktari Fred Matiang katika tarifa ya kwanza maalumu ya serikali baada ya uchaguzi na tetesi zilizo ripotiwa hapa na pale. Nafikiri cha msingi alichozungumzia zaidi ni kuhusiana na mitandao ya kijamii. Kuna tarifa mbozi na sambao kwamba barabara hita.